Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to our viewers all around the world. And of course, hello to the universe. Because when you say something to the universe, it comes back to you twice. <laughs> I love that. So anyway, today our guest is an amazing coach. She is a financial coach. So for you out there having issues with finances, here you come, Rachel Lopez. Yay. Hello, Rachel. How are you today? Oh, I'm great. How are you doing today? Good, good. Uh, we had a little uh, short issue with the connection, but now we're good. I'm glad. <laughs> so good to see you. And um, we kind of talk about what you do and you do finance you know and help others especially the moms out there you know moms are very amazing we have done so much in this world and we need the big a big hand for all the mothers in the world <laughs> yes <laughs> so anyway uh rachel just to kind of introduce you to our uh viewers could you kind of tell us about yourself a little bit about yourself you can make it a suspense or you can make it full-blown it's up to you <laughs> sure yeah no problem so yes my name is rachel um, i'm actually living in phoenix arizona um, i have four kids six and younger and actually the only boy is going to turn four next month in november so that's exciting i love to read and i'm a night owl like i love to be up during the middle of the night <laughs> <laughs> oh yes plus you know you get the kids in bed and you can just take some time to you know read and do other things mm -hmm. for yourself right <laughs> oh i hear them i hear them <laughs> <laughs> yes they're they're watching a movie right now they're very excited about it <laughs> oh that's fun i can i can just imagine how fun it is to be in your house a lot of things going on and um, I love kids too. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, you mentioned about being a financial coach. Um, how how did you started this uh, financial coaching? By the way. So I've always had a passion and a drive for personal finance because when I was growing up, I watched my grandmother. She raised me. She worked two and three jobs just to afford Christmas, and I decided that that shouldn't be normal, right? Like I didn't want to have to work so much when I was young, like when I envisioned myself for the future, right? Cause I wanted to have a family, I wanted to be a mom. And mm -hmm. so I've always tried to learn these things about personal finance and how to like handle money. So we didn't have to work so many jobs. And then when I actually did start working in manufacturing I was always helping other people with their, with their money. They were always coming to me, asking me questions about like how to save, how to get on a budget, how to get out of debt, like how do we how do we do this? And so I was always trying to just help them so that I actually left manufacturing and now I've become a financial coach so I can help people full time. Wow, amazing. So that only shows, you know, by your story that uh, people come to you to ask, that means you're really good at it. <laughs> I can yes. just imagine that. <laughs> so, uh, for, uh, give me an example, like uh, how how what is like first thing? Okay, you say people ask you. So, like, what is the like, number one or very common question about finances? There's how to say? Yeah. How to say? That is the number one thing that people come to me and they ask. They say, "Oh, I can't save." or I don't make enough money to save, like, how do I do this? I was like, you can do this. Everybody can do this, right? Oh, okay, give me a tip, one tip. How to save? Um, it depends on your priorities. Like, what do you want to save for? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people just think they're supposed to have a savings, like that whole like save for a rainy day fund. That's what I hear a lot about. Mm -hmm. But people like, I don't, I don't really know what that means. And so they don't save because they don't think whatever, like a rainy day, they don't get it. But if you say, well, if you save three to uh, six months of your expenses, so when you lose your job, you can fall back on that. 
that changes people's perspective and they're like, oh, now there's a purpose behind it instead of just saving for whatever. <laughs> yes, well, that's, that's like, um, it's like kind of a um, business, you know, you have to have a goal so you know what you're doing. Otherwise you'll be like, okay, I want to be in business, but uh, I don't really know what I want to achieve. So yeah, well, that's, that's really, wow. I'm, I'm, when I'm hearing you that I'm impressed that, wow, that's really something is very basic question that a lot of people do uh, don't even pay attention to it like okay yeah I will say but I don't really have a goal and that's a very important uh, point to mention that whether what you are doing you have to have a goal because with a goal you can get to what you want to get right or finance when you want to get a car so, okay, I'm saving for a car instead of say, saying, okay, I'm just saving for nothing, you know, like, so the, it does help with the, uh, you know, your, 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 your inspired or your, your desire to save, right? Yeah. 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 Definitely. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Wow. Um, you are good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was listening to you. Oh my, this is this is business. <laughs> yes. And that works too for when you're transitioning from like a corporate job or a manufacturing job into starting your own business. It's exactly the same. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. True, true. Wow. Um, so um what you started, you started at home just like oh, you know, like did how did you start like uh, you just do uh, tell people, hey, I, I'm a financial coach or how do you do that? How did you start? Yeah, so it actually started with friends and family first, like I mentioned, like the co-workers and things like that. In fact, I still have co-workers, like past co-workers messaging me, be like, hey, I need your help. I'm like, okay, now's the time. Now you're ready. And so that's mm -hmm. kind of like how it started. So it always like when you start a new business, it generally starts off small and then exponentially just grows, right? so do you have like a program that people can sign up for you know like okay three three months program or a week or you know do you have a program or you have a do you have like a courses that you can you don't i i don't have a course no um i do have a program so i work with individuals for four months and we meet weekly on zoom mm-hmm and we tackle whatever it is for that week in the program. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good to know. Wow, four months is your program, and every yes. week, once a week, for an hour. Yes. Okay, okay, good. So, who are you trying to reach out to for this kind of coaching you're doing right now? So, I really want to help people who work in blue collar jobs. Hi, sweetie. I need you to go. Hello. Say hi. Can you say hi? She's like, no, I'm going to check myself out on the camera. <laughs> so I really like to help people who work in manufacturing because I know the examples that I can give them to be more relatable. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. So, wow, that's, that's a big, uh, I would say that's a big, uh, you know, group there because a lot of people are working in a manufacturing uh place you know so good is there any age or you know that you would rather work with <laughs> i love that you like to be in the <laughs> camera oh you got to be a movie star one day huh gonna uh... be a movie star? <laughs> mm -hmm. okay <laughs> okay good, yeah. good. i'll see you <laughs> yeah. so i really um, I have focus on the age range now of um, 18, because that's when you can start working in manufacturing to 35. Oh, okay. 18 to 35. Yeah. Good, good. Those are the prime years of life. <laughs> and yeah. that's the best time to learn how to save. So in yeah. the future, yeah, they have a better life. Yeah. 
So, um, okay, is there you wanna pro you wanna promote right now? Like, uh, you know, where to find you? You know, what what is it that they can they can uh, get out of uh, coaching or something like this? Something uh, that you can offer to our viewers. Yeah, I'm actually launching a challenge in November about uh -huh. learning the steps for savings and the money mindset behind it uh -huh. in my Facebook group. Be the hero of your, excuse me, yeah, be the, sorry, I need you to stop. Be the hero of your finances challenge. It's just a Facebook group. I believe it is private. Mm -hmm. So you do have to um, ask to be accepted into the group because we do talk about money and we do talk about the numbers. I, I openly share my numbers and I show you what I do to help and to figure out how to save. Mm -hmm. right um do you have the facebook group or you know you can tell us that that's the facebook? that's yeah that's that's yeah. the name of the, the group so you can just do a search for how to be the hero of your finances okay so anyway i'm gonna ask you the link anyway so i could yeah. put it add it to the description that way when people wants to you know connect you they directly connect with you and also your email if you have you know we can add that as well in the description that be sound good yes so my email is our financial coaching at gmail.com and i will send you all the links and all the uh information <laughs> all right all right so um uh to end our short interview give can you like one or two tip that you think would benefit our viewers? To really think about what your parents told you when you were growing up about money and see how that is affecting your life today. Whether that could be money didn't grow on trees, that was my husband. Um, when I grew up, my grandmother always said, you need to save for college why now I save everything <laughs> and now my and so that affects your mindset is what you've been told growing up wow that's that's very true mindset is always like a key thing for most of the things we do um you know we we kind of do things according to what we learn or hear or uh, believe in so that includes a mindset with your um aside from the finance area that's cool that's a good combination that's a killer thank you <laughs> <laughs> i think so because if you have this good your mind then i'm sure you can do the finance part you know uh even if, if it, i always believe that no matter how much money you have even if you have all the money in the world but you don't have this mindset that what you can do with your money how you utilize it then you lose all the money you have so yeah um i thank you for uh being here one of my guests i'm really excited about you rachel it's uh it's uh, your your uh platform is a little bit different which is i love it because uh you know finance plus mindset that's that's amazing so adriana go to the alarm off please sorry i want to thank you for your time and for having me on i am just honored to be here thank you welcome welcome so we'll see you in uh next time uh yeah. oh yeah i i just kind of thought what what have you uh what is your goal like what what do you see in yourself in a year's time by the way how would you uh do things differently or you know in your business um i actually my dream of my future is to actually host events on site at the employer site so at a manufacturing company to have the employees come to the event that the, their employer is hosting and I'm doing a presentation live for everyone there. Wow, I love that. 
Ooh, I want to, I want an update someday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Well, thank you again. And uh, I'll see you someday again with our uh, <laughs> updates. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to end the recording now. Bye everyone.